One of the best shapers for biceps that you do at the end of your workout is a concentration curl. Now, I would say concentration curl. They picture somebody sitting down like this with a dumbbell, the elbow in their kneecap, and they're going like this. I prefer not to go this way. There's too many ways to cheat this exercise, especially when you get start getting tired and you start like pivoting off your elbow or you start pushing your elbow in to get that momentum. It's also not quite a dead hang. A better version of it is to grab the weight and go straight from a dead hang. Your right hand, your opposite hand is on your kneecap and you're sitting down like this. You're going to bring your arm straight up to your chest and straight back down. You have to be careful though also. There's a lot of ways to cheat this one. The two predominant ones is that when you bring it down, you build momentum up. So you don't want to do that that's taken away from what you're trying to do. The other one is that you're going to use your back here. Instead of bringing it up in a, in a linear plane, you're going to bring it up and bring your elbow in too. That's going to take your back into account here and take it away from your bicep. So really stay focused. Pick the right weight. You want to get a good high rep here, about 15 reps towards the end of your workout here. You're going to bring it up, hold it for a second, Bring it back down. You're in control the whole time with this motion here. Now right, you do about 15 and you switch hands. Put the other hand. It's a great finisher. It really brings the height of the bicep out. Bicep concentration curls. This exercise is a bicep workout. It's a combination between a preacher curl and a concentration curl that emphasizes the stress on the peak of the bicep. This exercise you want to do at the end of your workout. You want to use high reps, proper form, light weight, using the edge here of an incline bench. You're going to do one hand at a time. You're going to sink your elbow deep into here. Reason being, if you start coming down, your elbow starts coming up right here, you're cheating yourself because you're going to use that momentum to come back. Lock it in deep so you have no gap here. And you're going to bring it up nice and slow. As you come up, you're going to twist the dumbbell in. Just ever so slightly. You're going to switch hands, switch feet. The incline bench concentration slash preacher curl. It's a great workout to do at the end of your bicep routine. Builds a peak. Make sure you do high reps, proper form, lighter weight. You'll love the results.